So far, we've had a look at many different ways of removing a background in Photoshop. This time, we're going to take a look at the built-in feature which allows us to remove this background right here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and left click on the lock to unlock this to be a layer and you want to press Ctrl and J and hide the one underneath it. So now that you've got yourself a copy of it, you want to go all the way down to the eraser tool and you want to right click in here and the tool that we're going to be using is called the background eraser tool. If you've never used this one before, you have four main options which you need to focus on. The first one is the brush. So you want to make sure it's on 100% hardness and this is just going to make the edges more solid. Next up, you have the modes. So you have continuous, you have single sample and you have the background swatch. So basically the continuous one will allow you to continuously pick up and sample the background. So for example, the colors and it will be able to keep on automatically adjusting. Now, if you only wanted one specific sample color, so for example, if it's a plain white color or something simple, you can stick to a single sample mode. And then finally, you have the background protection. This is mainly for if you're going to remove things like hair. Next up, we have the limits. For this one, we can have discontiguous, contiguous, and find edges. The best one is definitely find edges. And then finally, we have the tolerance. The tolerance is all about how much you want it to remove and how harsh you want it to be when it comes to removing the background. Okay, so that's enough talking, let's actually begin. So we'll have it at 100% right up here. We'll go all the way around. And once we get a little bit more further down, right up to here, we're going to turn it down to 40%. We we'll want to just keep on removing the background. We're going to set it to 20%, and we're also going to remove this edge right here. And there we go. We then want to set this one back to 40%, and just continue on removing the background. So just staying on the edges, and to keep on going all the way around. And once we get to the very light bits right here, we we'll want to go ahead and set it back to 20%. And we we'll want to remove this bit right here as well. Once we get back to the back area, we're going to set this one to 50% and remove it from here. Now, sometimes you may need to use other tools. For example, this bit right here, we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to go ahead and left click once. We're going to hold it in to curve it. And we're going to also curve it a little bit more, go all the way around. And then you want to go on the outside, go all the way around, back to the very first one, and then left click to connect it all up. You then want to go to a selection, set the feather radius to about, let's say two pixels, go ahead and press okay, and then press delete. And then you want to press control and D to deselect it. If you wanted to, you can go to the adjustments and get yourself a solid color. And this is going to give us a nice clear indication of what is being left behind. So now what we want to do is want to get rid of the rest of the background. And to do this, you want to go ahead and hold control or command, left click on your cutout image, go to the third tool down, right click in here and get yourself the lasso tool. With the lasso tool, you want to set it to inter select. Once you've got yourself the inter select, you want to left click in between and only focus on the middle selection. So you just want to go all the way around, not touching the edges, and then back to the very first one and then let go of it. And this will focus on the main selection. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and press Ctrl and J, and you want to hide the one underneath it. Go ahead and hold control or command, left click on here to get ourselves a selection. You wanna to go to select, go down to modify, and you want to go to contract. You wanna set it to one pixel in here, go ahead and press okay, and as you can see, this is now contracted the selection. Next up, we're going to go back into the select, go down to modify, 
and go down to feather. We're going to just slightly soften it up with a one pixel feather radius. And then you want to go ahead and press OK. And once you've done all that, you want to press Control, Shift, and I. We can go ahead and press Delete on the cutout layer. And as you can see, the extra excess areas are now fully removed. And that's pretty much it. That's how you remove a background in Photoshop using the background eraser tool.